Alright guys, today I'm back with another review, this time of a soft drink, Coca-Cola Movement Limited Edition Flavour, I've got this in Asda for 75p for this little can, it is Coke Zero, but with a twist, it's uh, by Rosalia, who is a musician, very famous, uh, one of the biggest musicians in the world at the moment, um, Fan. I wouldn't say I actively go out and listen to her music, but if it comes on, I won't skip. Zero calories, which is always a plus. There we go. Nice branding on the can here. Look at that. It's all like hand-drawn art. Well, obviously not hand-drawn, probably computer-generated art. Not CGI, but, you know, done by people on a laptop. And there you go. There's the... Uh, the aspartame, which is a cancer crossing, but we'll skip past that and put it in the nice Coca-Cola glass. Let's crack this open and see what it's like. Kind of fucked up there, but no harm, no foul. There we go. It is in the glass. Let's line that up. Now that is the money shot. Nice carbonation, what you'd expect from a Coca-Cola. That smells sweeter. There's a bit of vanilla in there. Let's uh, give it a little taste. Cheers. Vanilla Coke, but like there's an aftertaste to it, and I've got a can of vanilla Coke through there, and it definitely won't taste like this. It's okay, not as good as Coke Zero, not as good as vanilla Coke, not as good as regular Coke, but. For a soft drink that's, couldn't tell you what the flavour's meant to be other than watered down vanilla with a little bit of a... Yeah, just watered down vanilla coke. Sad. Expecting better, but for 75p for that we can, eh, worth it. Worth a try. Would I recommend? Probably not, unless you're a Rosalia stan and you need to try everything, but better than not having a Coke. Cheers. Hit the notification bell, the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content like this. See you all next time. <laughs>